I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ears, the Son of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever Hey everybody, Lady Cheryl here, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I'm up early this morning making products, so I thought, well, let me go ahead and finish that video that I started with my grand angels, Brian and Bria, okay? I want to share with you how you can grow some food very easily and very inexpensively all fall and all winter long. You can grow some on your patio, your porch, outside under a hoop house, and if you have a greenhouse, you can grow it in there too. But even if you just had a sunny window, I'm going to show you how you can grow some food in a hanging basket and uh, it'll be very beneficial to you and your family. Okay, let's get started. Hey, everybody. These are dragon tongue beans from Baker Creek. And here are three baskets that Brian and Bria removed soil from that pile over there. It used to be a garden bed. And we added just a little bit of new soil that we had left in that bag right there. And potty mix, I should say. And we are going to plant three beans in each one of these baskets because all we need is three. If you put four or five in there, sometimes it's too much. You all want to, re you ready to do it? Yes! Okay, come on. You're going to take three beans, Brian. Take three out of the package. Okay, Bria got three. Brian has three. And we, we're going to clean this porch up when we get finished. And somebody's going to give me three. Okay? Now, I want you all to watch me. Take my finger and put it all the way down to the first knuckle. Drop a bean in. Watch me, watch me. I'm going to make a triangle. You see that? Yeah. We're going to drop a bean here. We're going to drop a bean there. And then I'm just going to close it up. Okay. I need you only to get three. Make your triangle. Who's going to go first? Me. Go ahead, Bria. Good job, Bria. Is that? Oh, that's a little triangle. Okay, I'll come back to you. Let's fill that back up and try again. Okay, Brian. Can I do this? No. Don't drop any beans in there, Bria. Make a big triangle like I did. Okay, so you have your three, your triangle? Yes. Okay, put your beans in. One, One two, two, three. Two. Very good. Now cover them up just lightly because when we water them in, it'll get all the air pockets out. But I wish you had to put them a little bit further away. This is some red lettuce. I'll insert the name of what it is. And we're going to take it out of the container. It don't have uh, long roots. And we're going to take a little plug here. And we're going to remember the bean is here, here, and here. So right in the middle, I'm going to plant this lettuce. And it could be growing while the beans are germinating. See how that fit nice in there? Yes. Okay, you're going to do the same thing, and then I'm going to press down. Okay, so, Bria, you have your three beans. So, right here in the middle, you're going to make your hole. Make it big. Look, Bria, look. It has to be big enough for this. Okay, there we go. We're going to plop that in, and we're going to cover it up. And we're not going to actually cover up the leaves. Go ahead. Fill it up. Very good. And you're all done. And we're going to water it in. And I want you to go all the way around and just pat, 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 pat. You like doing that? Yeah. Very good. Okay, Brian, you want to plant your three beans? Uh-huh. Here's one here, here, and here. Don't, let's see. Okay, I'm going to make sure they're not too far down. Okay? Ooh, this is how I Where's your beans? Uh, I gave them to you. Okay, you're sitting on them. 
Pick the three best ones. One, two, three. Don't cover them up yet. I'm going to tell you why. That way you'll know where your lettuce is. So I'm making a big hole right there. And you're going to get you some lettuce right here. Take this one. And look like it's a carrot seed popped up in there too. Let me show you. Let me show you. You're going to squeeze it out like this. Coax it out. Lettuce doesn't have a long root ball. Okay? Okay. Move that back. Very good, Brian. Now you're going to pick this up and drop it in there. Mm-hmm. Push it down a little bit. That's a carrot in there, too. It's okay. Yeah. Now you're going to cover everything up. Here, your bean. Wow. And then just pat, pat, pat. Looks cool? Yeah. Very good. And we're going to take any extra soil and let's just put it around the edge where we know the beans aren't. Anybody have any extra soil? Uh, I have some. Okay, take your extra soil. Put it upside down. Put it like right, right here. Okay, and then just spread it around. Okay. Brea, turn the water on, please. Just pat. Right, very good. And then we're just going to water again. And how many more beans do we have? Uh, one. Just one bean? I think we have more. Yeah, we have more. We have more in there. Take them out and let's see if we can do one more basket. Yeah. We got three more at least? Yeah, we have more than three more. You want to count them, please? Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. So you all will get two more baskets over on the other side of the patio and fill them up in so with soil and we'll be back. Hi, it's Bria. So, we ended up... Mm-hmm. How many? Five? Five... Baskets? Baskets of beans. With lettuce in the middle. Lettuce in the middle. Because the lettuce is a great companion plant for beans. So I want you to always remember that when you get big and you have your own garden. If you want to put something else in your container with your beans, lettuce is an excellent choice. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, Bria. Bye. Guys, we're going to finish the lettuce baskets with the three beans in them, right? Right now, we're going to add lettuce. So, Bria, this is your basket right here, right? Yes. I'm going to give you... an organic romaine lettuce. You hold on to that. Yes, ma'am. Don't squish them. And Brian, you're gonna have the winter Boston. Winter Boston. Lettuce. Butterhead. You know what? I think I'm gonna take the winter Boston. I'm gonna put it in all three of these. Winter Boston. Since it's a winter lettuce. Winter Boston. And you're gonna do a dragon romaine lettuce. What do you have, Bria? Dragon romaine. Dragon and you have another yes. romaine, both of them, but one is Truscan. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to open those seeds up. you got to be very careful. You're going to open them up because we only have a few seeds. Yeah. And I want you to take out only four seeds. Yeah, we don't want to squish them. That's right, and you don't want to drop them. Only take out four seeds. Okay. Take out four seeds, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show everybody how I teach you all the plants. Close that back up, Bria. You have your four seeds in your hand. Close it without dropping your seeds. Now, the lettuce seeds are real tiny, and they don't need to have a lot of soil on them. So right where I take this, I want you to put the seed there. Come on, follow me. One here, one there. And then you're just going to pat it in. Pat it in here. Pat it in good. And you're going to put one about right here. Come on. Here. Pat it in. Put it there. Don't push it down too far. You can. You have to just put it right there on the surface. And then one right here. And you're all done. And then just pat them down. And then you're going to hold on to your bag so I can make you a label. A marker, okay? You ready, Brian? You have four? I have three. Oh my God, I guess I need to come back to you tomorrow. Four. You got four? Ah, uh -uh. you oh. here the seeds, you're wasting them. You got them? I just picked them up with my hands. I. 
Don't worry about that tiny seed, Brian. Here's another one. Okay, here we go, Bria. Hold Brian's. Okay, so here are a couple of seeds. I'm going to put one here, very lightly on the surface. You can do the same thing. You're older than Bria. Don't dig down too far. Lightly on the surface, drop a seed. Then move over about four inches and do the same thing. Lightly cover it up. I'm not dumping it. Lightly cover it up, Brian. It has to be covered, not with a stick, with soil. Go ahead, do it again, Brian. You can pat later, Brian. We're making a video. Okay. Okay. Hurry, Brian. People don't want to watch this dead silence. Yeah. I'm going to have to speed it up. And put one right here, Brian. That's it. Just put one right here. That's it. Thank you. Put one right here. Cover it up. That's it. That's okay. it. What you do is put your label or your marker inside your container so you'll know it's what lettuce it was. That's the dragon romaine. And Bria, what is yours? The bream romaine. Hey, everybody. Bria and I and Brian finished the baskets and we hung them up in the greenhouse. In a few more weeks, the plastic cover will come on. And because this has a boat that usually rub against the greenhouse and uh, wear, make wear and tear on the plastic, we covered it up with some piping tape. And so all along here, we'll have our beans and our uh, lettuce. And then back over here on this side of the greenhouse, uh, exactly across from them, we have one more basket, another one right here. And then I have one, two, three that I'm going to put spinach in. I just want to share with you guys that I'm going to put those gooseberries in those red uh containers and that green container man i've been having them probably over 10 years uh even though the petunias will come back the mexican petunias i'm gonna put them along here move brian alongside here uh just leave me enough air room to walk around inside of the greenhouse so yeah those uh eight hanging baskets are going to grow a lot of food and uh I have two more. Actually, I have 10. Let me take you over here where I have the last two. Begonias are still hanging on right in here. And when they die off, um, I'll plant some spinach probably in these two as well. Hey guys, okay. I'm gonna show you the last thing that Bria, Brian, and I did. We uh, sprayed a real weak solution, about a teaspoon of pure cold pressed neem oil in a gallon of water, and we lightly misted our grow boxes. And then we applied the netting that I, you know, saved year after year. So we have the uh, netting on, everything we want to put it on. It's not exactly tight, tight, but it will deter the cabbage moths and the uh, cabbage worm laying insects from, you know, just devastating our crops. So we got everything kind of secure out here. Even this little bed right over here, this little elevated raised bed. Uh, this one, I need to find some more clips to get it a little bit more secure. But like I said, it'll help out a lot. Now you're not gonna stop all of the cabbage moths and uh, moths that lay those eggs for the worms, you will slow down the, uh, uh, them coming inside. It's fall, guys, and you can see a lot of the leaves on the various trees are turning. It's a beautiful time of the year, and I just want to share that with you. Okay, so this concludes this video. Bree and Brian on their two days off from school were a real big help to me, and I really appreciate it, and they will make $5 each. And Brian has his own bank account, so I'll put $10 in your account, and you'll give Bria 5 He has a wallet, too. He has a wallet, too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have a wallet and a bank account. Okay, and you have a debit wallet. card. With your name on it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. You want to say goodbye dollars. to everybody? Bye. Yes, $40 in it. Okay. $45. That's a wrap for this video. I hope I share something that you can use. Remember, check me out on Monday nights and check out my natural skin and hair care line at LadyCherylsProducts.com. Bye now.
Hold your own, eat your own. It's not all you can do with. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. See you real soon.